Hello everyone and welcome back to my desk. As you can see, I have some wires. But I also have one of these. And it can make this. Time to make something. Here, let me show you. I'm making a square bracket. Literally, a square bracket. So what I'm doing, hold it, freeze. Turns out that my capture card only captured this window, not any of the pop-ups that go with it. So I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of the design stuff. I'll try and hit the high notes, but you'll have to wait for the next one for me to do a design video. I wanna mirror this right here, across to this plane right there. Beautiful, uh, finished sketch. Now I'm gonna drill these two holes through this part. Actually, we're gonna do, um, uh, we're gonna do an end to object this side of this object done. Perfect. All right, so now these two holes act as clearance holes for uh, my screwdriver, my T-handled screwdriver. I mean, a regular screwdriver actually would be way easier to fit through than this. Uh, but you have what is in the kit. Ah, I see. I'm using a number eight half inch pan head Phillips screw. Sorry for the noise. Also, I work in metric because I grew up in Europe, so um, whatever. All right, my screw is around four and a quarter millimeters. So, I want to make another hole. So I'm gonna make a sketch. I feel like it was, oh, I bet it was. I bet I dimensioned the center line. Like so, I bet it was 30. Yep, that looks about right. Yep, looks darn close. Then I can make another circle, center point of the what the heck? Oh wait, no, not center point. I didn't make this even. Now it can't be, there we go. Center point of this, I'm gonna make another circle. What did I just say a minute ago? Feels like forever. Um, this is gonna be, you know what, five sounds fair because these are probably going to get printed on an angle. Oh, wait, no, we don't want that. That's going to be a real line. Um, we're going to go ahead and mirror this across and then blow this hole straight on through. And the way that we do that is the exact same as we did the last hole. Now, in order to instill strength in our squares, we add all of the... Um... Oh, okay, so this is going to be 3D printed. What that means is that these would normally need supports. I'm just gonna not do supports. <laughs> um, I think I am gonna have to print this whole thing to actually verify it. Normally what I would do, let me make a section. Normally what I would do is I would print about that much of the model. Normally I'd print that much of the model and I would use that to verify like my geometry, make sure it fits within the size of the place that I want it. But in this case, because I actually need to check that my um, that my screw holes work correctly and aren't too small and don't split, I need to print the whole thing. Really not sure about these big holes. They'll probably be fine. So my plan is to mount this surface. This this surface here will go along the bottom of my desk with two screw holes in it, and then uh, I will use this square to capture the cables that are currently a wild mess under my desk. Uh, this is designed to be big enough that a piece of one by three? No, one by four. Yeah, because two by fours are actually three and three quarters. So yeah, this is wide enough that a two by four, but actually I'm gonna use a one by four, will fit between them. So I can basically make a little channel nook that all the wires can be on. And if I want to, I can like zip tie them or um, staple them down to that one by piece of wood. Uh, and that'll just get them up and out of the way off my feet because unfortunately my desk doesn't have that functionality. So good engineering practice is to always put your fillets in at the end. So now that I have created my design, also your fillets are very important for the strength of your part. Uh, you don't want to create a notch in the corner that will create undue stress, especially as this thing's being pulled on right through here and through here. Actually, I don't even know if you can see my mouse. This whole thing might end up being trashed. As I was saying, you don't want this corner to get ripped out, so you're gonna increase the size of it a little bit. I think five inches will be, f or five inches, five millimeters will be fine. Um, this is plenty of size, plenty of oversize to fit the, the two by four through it. So I don't think having filleted corners, also if I'm not mistaken, two by fours have filleted sides, so this should be fine. They're not square anyway. The other thing is, do I want to recess? Do I want to countersink the screw heads up here? I could, let me check. Where is my, where's my uh, sample screw from my box of screws? I'm gonna do, let's see, that is eight. Well, so they're right there. That's the minimum size I could possibly use for my clearance hole. My clearance hole has to fit my screw through it. I only used an 11 and this is an eight. 
So if I want to actually have a clearance fit on a 3D printed part, which is pretty loose tolerances, I know it's not, but my Ender 3s aren't calibrated, I didn't bother. So I'm probably going to make this a 9, gives me a half a millimeter each side, yeah. Alright, we're going to make a 9, 9 millimeter countersink on this surface, so we're going to call that done for the fillet. Yeah, yeah that, that shows you right there that if my screw head is that kind of diameter, then, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we want to make another mirrored surface. Let's do it. This time, we don't want to extrude to the end. Instead, let's select extent type to object. And we want an offset. What do we want an offset of? I think I made this about, oh, you know what? Let's do this smart. We will measure the size of the screw head. The screw head is how thick? 2.75. So I'm just gonna be on the safe side and I will make it three millimeters deep. So I want to, to yeah, I wanna make it three millimeters deep. I know that this is, what did I make this? Eight, nine? Oof, we might have to go back to the original sketch. All right, anyway, let's do an offset from this surface. We're gonna offset, seven millimeters the other way minus seven. Oh well let's go a little further than that let's minus five. Oh perfect look it gives us a little preview so it's three inches or three millimeters deep perfect go all right so since I know now that that's three millimeters deep because it told me I don't even have to go back into the old sketch but if you should want to go back into the old sketch you come back here you can click edit sketch and you can look at it so it's 80 tall and our walls are in fact eight millimeters thick, which is fine. Should be plenty strong enough, just made out of PLA. It doesn't have any real weight on it. I just need a thing, which 3D printing is the greatest technology for making a thing that has come out in a long time. Uh, dang it, I just started some prints on the printer. Uh, and I'm gonna actually save this because it might need some revisions. So desk mounting wire bracket. Safe, and that'll be V1 of this uh, desk mounting wire bracket. Well, it'll be V0, I forgot. Real engineers start with zero, only fools like me start with number one. <laughs> I guess it was, wait, what? It's named V1, now it's V, what? I'm very confused. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna re check, the, check the video on that. Now it's V1, it knew I was bad mouthing it. You remember uh, how I said I didn't know if the design was finalized? Well, I realized something. If I wanna put cables through this, I now have no way to put cables through this. I would have to actually unplug every cable on my computer and run them through this and then plug it back in. I don't think I want to do that. I also don't know that I'm happy with giving up the structure on the sides because I don't want it to break. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clip here. Let's do it like this. I'm going to hit a sketch. I'm gonna make a sketch on this plane. I'm gonna make a rectangle and I'm just gonna steal Now, when I go to install this, I can pretty easily slide my cables through before I mount this to the top of my desk. Now, if I ever need to take the cable out, that's a whole thing, but at least for the install, it will be easy. I'm debating doing on the bottom, but then I have to put in some kind of board on the bottom to keep it so there's not a hole on the bottom. We'll do this. We'll do this as our our beginning design. What? Not that. I want this. I want this. We'll do a fillet real quick. Also, I'm going to make this go away. Uh, let's see. We're going to select here, 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 and here. And let's just go ahead and make them three. Whoa. Not that. I don't want this. Thank you. Make it three. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now we're gonna use this as our, um, I guess, V2 design, since technically it's changed. All right, there we go, updated to V2, and we're just going to 
export this again. So in here to bodies, body one. You know what? I could name this bracket. Save this to my downloads. Perfect. Save. Awesome. I'm going to hit Control R, align this on the build plate, and then I'm just gonna slice this puppy. I don't want any supports. I'm relying on my printer to be able to make a fairly accurate hole with no supports. It'll probably be okay. This isn't a dimensionally accurate thing, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll see you in the printing room. Yeah, welcome to the hole. This is where we print. All right, we install. Oh wait, this way up. And print wire routing bracket. Let's do it. All right, ain't nobody got time for that. We'll just see it when it's done. All right, here we go, back into the uh, print corner of Doom. What do we got? What do we got? We got a bracket. Oof. All right, I'm gonna have to actually do this the hard way. Beautiful. Got one. A rare top of the desk shot. Okay, so we can do two things at once here. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this just over the edge. Hello. There we go. So we can verify it. Look, the uh, countersink works appropriately. And we can check. There we go. Yep, so we can verify that the screw isn't too deep into our desk. The plan is to create like a, um, a track under here for I'm seeing a problem in the way, which isn't a problem with this, but it is a problem if I want to add a piece of wood in there. But see, here's the benefit of having our open, um, open design for this, is I can go through here and then like that, and then we want it right there. Yeah, that one worked. All right, we got two marks on the underside of the desk. All I really have to do is break through this, um, uh, what are you called? Laminate on the underside of the desk, and then I'm just into the fiber board and the screw should work just fine. Ooh, I wonder how much tolerance I gave myself for where the holes are. I have to guess I'd say not a lot. For installation, I'm going to start with my screw already like this. Next screw, I gotta move all these cables over this way. Yeah, look at that. That's got some strength and stability to it. All right. What if for the next one, I was to take all of this, just all of this mess, including that, and put it right there. One of the benefits of modifying the design from being a solid square is that my positional location doesn't need to be perfect. They can be a little bit squeezed in. So if they're wrong and they're a little too close together, they just get squeezed in a little bit. If they're out the other way and they get squeezed out, they get pushed out a little bit. There's a lot more flexibility to do that with this hole cut here than if I'd have left the design square.
All right, one more to go. Maybe two. There we go, that's much better looking than it was. Um, to be fair, if we come up here, uh, there is still um, a bit of a mess under here. But at least it's all up out of the way and not bothering my feet and I can vacuum again. Last thing to do is I gotta look into figuring out that UPS. We all know that cable management is an absolute pain in the butt, but with the power of 3D printing, you can turn any messy desk setup into a fantastic workstation. I can't wait to see you for the next project.